We have this beautiful piece of halibut, mm. which I'm going to fry, and that's mm -hmm. a special treat because it's not a cheap fish, but you could no. use striped bass, no. you could use all kinds of things, mm -hmm. and, then, and I'm going to make uh, thin slices. Okay, and you're not cutting that at thin. an angle so they I'm see that. I'm cutting at a little bit of an angle. Yeah. And you can see I'm doing little rectangular pieces. They're about, mm -hmm. um, about a third of an inch thick. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can judge, you can play with the temperature on the pan. So if it's a little thicker, if your piece is a little thicker, you would cook it a little bit slower. As long as you end up with nice thin, thin slices, slices of fish, oh. you can use any fish you want. Okay. If you're a fisherman, yep. and that's the beauty of this dish because there's no competing flavors. So now we, will, we have the fish, we'll make the breading. Okay. And I'm going to set these here for now until we're ready to bread. And uh, the parsley should be coarsely chopped. Okay. I already picked off most of the stems. Again, we're using flat leaf Italian parsley. Flat leaf, yeah. Okay. It just has the complement of the almond and the lemon. And the lemon. But it's not uh, competing with the fish. So whatever, you, whatever kind of fish you like, that's what you're going to eat. There's no sauce. Chopped parsley I just made. Okay. And I'm going to move this out of the way now. Okay, because we have an assembly line going on. we're going to set up an assembly line. Okay. So do you want to work on there? No, I don't no, even need No, you don't need that. Off. Okay. And then I have uh, sliced almonds. Yeah. And you don't even have to chop them. What I do is just take my hands and just break them up a little bit. Okay. And see that, you know, it saves a lot of trouble from trying to chop them with a knife. Yes. If you put them in a Cuisinart, Too in fine. a food processor, you have to destroy it, the oils. Too, it'll, to, yeah. You'll destroy them. And I add that to the breadcrumb. Okay, so that's our coating mixture. Hey, could you uh, put some salt and pepper in there for yes, me? Yes, I can. Okay. And so the zest of one lemon? Yeah, I use a whole lemon and I zest it right into the, if I go directly into the crumbs, it, uh, it, it doesn't clump up. Okay. Mm. Beautiful it smells. Mm. Good and fresh. Yeah. And then we'll also cut up a lemon okay. and serve it later mm -hmm. with, with a, a little extra lemon. And you use a microplane. You mm -hmm. could use a cheese grater if you right. had to. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So now we mix and we have the lemon yeah. and mm. parsley, almonds, bread, salt, pepper. Okay. We're good to go. We are good to go. Okay. Now I'm going to just put this in a pan so I have a little more room. Right. To maneuver. To okay. maneuver. I'll take that. And I'm also going to, uh, we have our pieces of uh, halibut here. And I'm just going to season one side of it, okay. just to be safe that I got enough salt and pepper. Because it's such a simple dish, you don't want to, uh, you right. don't want to not have enough. Right. Okay. Okay, so uh, I could start heating up the pan. Okay. What are we using for uh, fat? Olive We're, oil? No, you okay. could use olive oil, but then it's going to taste like olive right. oil. Right, so and you don't I'm want trying anything to keep heavy. The fish. So I'm using uh, grapeseed, which is one of my favorite oils okay. to cook with because it has such a high burning point mm -hmm. that I can actually add a little butter mm -hmm. and I can have a little bit of butter flavor. Can so I do one? You can, but okay. I just want to show you mm -hmm. important when you're breading is that you keep one hand dry, okay? So you only do the wash with your left hand. And then oh, it, I'm using my right. <laughs> or, or the right. But if you were going, if you're left-handed, you would do the. Yeah. You would do it with your right. And then into the crumbs, and see, I keep this hand dry. Right, because you have to answer the phone. Well, no, <laughs> because I have to do that. If I do that, right, it's all over. If yeah. I get it on this hand, then yeah. it's all going to stick to my fingers. Right. All right. So there's our okay. beautiful uh, our almond beauty. crust, yeah. and we'll push beautiful. that in a little yeah. bit. That looks great. Mm. Let's okay. do two more pieces. Okay, so left hand. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Put that slaw right in the center. Beautiful. Mm. And it's nice because the dish is not real, like colorful like the last dish we did. So it's nice to have a, a colorful plate yeah. to, to use it with. And then we will put the four mm. pieces of fish th around here. Do a little pattern like. Mm. 
Of course, it'll look different depending on which fish you use. And then we put a little lemon in between each one. A couple lemon one. slices here. And then we saved a little of the fennel frond. Yeah, fennel frons. Wow. One more, one more. Yep. And this is why Jasper White is the king of fish, seafood, and anything else that's in the ocean. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs>